Blended Credit Scores. Hello, I'm Emmanuel St. Germain, CEO of Choice Mortgage Group. I wanted to talk to you about what a blended credit score is and how it can impact your ability to buy a home. Well, let's start with the basics of credit. In the mortgage industry, we use what's called a tri-merge credit report. So there's going to be an Experian score, there's going to be TransUnion and Equifax. We don't care about the high, we don't care about the low. So let's say if an individual has an 800, a 700, and a 600, their qualifying score is gonna be that 700. Now let's talk about if there's a co-borrower. We have two spouses. In that co-borrower, we would always use the lesser of the two individual scores, right? Their middle qualifying scores, we would use the lesser of the two. So let's say if we have one individual had a 720 credit score, but that 720 credit score was a stay-at-home spouse and the primary wage earner, the individual that we needed on the loan, had a 600 credit score. That was their middle qualifying score. We were not able to help that individual in the past because the 600 credit score was the primary wage earner. Therefore, we couldn't put them on a loan because as you all know, you need a 620 for a conventional loan, minimum qualifying score. Because of the blended credit, we are able to take the 600 credit score from the primary wage earner and the non-working spouse, and we are able to average that together to get a Fannie Mae loan. So just because someone tells you that I'm the wage earner, I'm the primary wage earner, and my credit score is not great, don't give up. That does not mean that we don't have a loan for you. For more great tips like this, please follow us, Emmanuel St. Germain, Choice Mortgage Group.